You're probably already aware that LastPass just announced some changes to their free password manager, which basically makes it just, well, pretty useless. Follow that up with Dashlane's similar announcement that they're going to browser only, and so it's high time that I made a video to try and find the best free password manager. Before we do get started, and for those new around here, hi, my name is Pete Matheson, and I make videos around tech, business, and money stuff. So if you are looking for reviews on the latest gadgets, interested in using tech to help grow your business, or if you want to know which Pokemon cards will make you bank, then please subscribe for more. I kid, I've no idea about Pokemon cards. I'm too on fleek for that. Speaking of subscribers, Chris Tim is now my favorite subscriber after sending me a batch of brownies in the post as a thank you gift. Thank you, Chris. My waistline will forever hate you. Now, there are tons of options when it comes to free password managers. LastPass, yes, but also Bitwarden, Dashlane, KeyPass, MyKey, RoboForm, NorPass, and so many more. So in this video, I'm gonna run through my top five to help you decide which is best for you. Before we do get started though, no, please don't use the password manager built into your browser. Other than the obvious issue of only having access to passwords in browser, it's also been proving numerous times that passwords stored in the likes of you know Google Chrome are not secure, which is why I'm a huge advocate for using a dedicated password manager. Don't forget to comment down below on which one is your favorite and why, and make sure to stick around until the end because after we've looked at the top five, I'm also gonna cover off all of the other free password managers, just in case you're looking for information on a specific one. First up is Bitwarden. Now with Bitwarden's free tier, you can store unlimited passwords across unlimited devices. You can sync across these devices and you also get 2FA. You might be wondering what you don't get with this free product. Well, you're missing minor features like file attachments, health reports, better support, and being able to use Bitwarden to generate 2FA codes for other websites, but for a free product, it's incredible. Second is a relatively new one to the space called MyKey. It's cross-platform, does offline syncing, and does authentication in a very different way to all of the other password managers, as there is just no master password. You simply download the app to your mobile phone, then scan a QR code to allow MyKey to sync with that computer. Just use then face ID or fingerprint or pin code instead of a master password, and it can generate 2FA codes. When you want to log into a site on your computer, you just grant access to it via your phone. You can also store credit card information, which is a really nice feature not seen on many of the other free password managers. Third is one that actually surprised me, really. Zoho Vault, one of very few free password managers that has a pretty fully featured product with, with no restrictions around numbers or devices or passwords that it can store. It works on desktop and mobile, gives you password assessment reports, has offline access, and that's a really good feature set for the low, low price of, of nothing. On to number four. Wait, there's no four? That's it? No, really. When you are talking about free products, I found the most password managers significantly restrict their products, which means I have like a tough time recommending them to anyone, really. Because, of course, the reason people offer a free but limited product is to get you to upgrade to their paid for products, you know, so they can stay in business and pay their staff and overheads. But the likes of Bitwarden, Mikey, and Zoho are very, very strong products when you look at what they offer for free without needing to upgrade. So my recommendation is to check out one of these three or continue watching, see if there is a free password manager where you are happy to work within their limitations or, or better, look at one of the paid for apps which provide you with better support and better features by watching this video where I compare them all. Because personally, I don't think anybody should expect all of the security and all of the features from, from a free app. And I know that my online security is well worth the small investment of money that literally like all of these password managers charge. So with that said, that is my top first well, three. <laughs> what about all of the other free password managers and what are their limitations? Dashlane only works on one device and only stores up to 50 passwords. And then later this year is going browser only, so that's a hard pass from me. But it could be an option if you have a few passwords and want access from just one device. LastPass is again now limiting you to one device. And I don't like their kind of shady business practice of spending a ton of marketing, luring everyone into a free product, and then restricting that product, which then forces people to either take the easy option of just paying to upgrade, or the difficult option of finding another password manager, exporting, importing, and you know, all that stuff. So can you tell I'm not a fan of LastPass? I really don't think they're gonna be sponsoring any of my videos. 1Password doesn't even have a free version, so that's a no from me. Keeper also doesn't have a free version, another no from me. RoboForm won't sync across devices and doesn't support 2FA, but doesn't limit the number of passwords you store, so that could be an option if you are using just one device. PassHub stores 100 records and doesn't also fill all capture passwords as you enter them, which means that it's pretty much a manual job to open up the app sheet time and copy and paste your information and even create new logins. That for me is a hard pass. 
NordPass only lets you log on to one device at a time, which can be extremely frustrating, switching back and forth between mobile or laptop or, or desktop, as it forces you to enter your master password to log in each time. So that's a no-go for me. But again, could be an option if you want to store a lot of passwords, only from one device. Log Me Once does have a lot of features, but it is heavily supported with ads, which again, I'm not a fan of when there are other better products out there. NPass works on desktop only and limits the number of passwords you can store. And then Sticky Password doesn't sync across multiple devices. Those are all of the other password managers. Like I say, I wouldn't personally recommend them because they wouldn't fit what I need. Unlimited passwords across multiple devices with, with really good security, but they might fit you. So your best bet is to take a look at the ones that do fit you. With all that said, don't forget that this video is comparing the free password managers, and I'd highly recommend looking at the paid for products as they do typically offer better features, better security, and have full support. And I did do a full password comparison video last year, but I'm literally about to post the 2021 version of this, which I'll link to the latest one right here. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, smash the like button, drop a comment below, and please go and watch another video as that really, really helps me out here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.